Next, we're going to take a look under the lid, but before we do, I want to say a quick word about static precautions. When the electronics is inside of its computer chassis, a discharge to the chassis travels around the electronics and not through the sensitive chips. Once I open this lid, I have the ability of touching a chip and a static discharge would damage that chip. So before I do, I put on a wrist strap and discharge myself. And so I'm ready to uh, work on the inside. One other word is I was talking to a failure analysis person at Intel who said that for every defective NUC that Simply NUC returns to them, they get about a thousand from do-it-yourselfers and the primary failure was static discharge when putting the DIMMs in, and that was determined by analyzing the processor and seeing that the memory circuitry had been fried, uh, which is the signals running straight over to the DIMMs. So when they put the DIMMs in, there was a static discharge, and that discharge traveled to the processor and destroyed it. As we now take a look inside, I've put my wrist strap on so I don't won't damage anything. On the Skull Canyon, there was two lids, one that had a skull embossed in the lid and a second that was plain for those that didn't want the skull. On the Hades Canyon, there's a single lid. And this, while this lid does not appear to have a skull in it, this area is actually transparent and it's been painted on the backside exposing an area that has the skull. So as I lift this off, you will actually start seeing the skull image come out of the plastic. And so flipping it over, you can see that this has been painted, but there's areas where it's not painted. And as a result, there's a um, panel that will glow. And when it glows, it will uh, light this up. And here's our panel. So this is a layered panel similar to what's in a, a backlight for your uh, LCD screen. There are several layers here, and, and some of the layers are connected to this row of RGB LEDs. And this causes the outline of the skull to glow with whatever color you've selected in the BIOS or in your application. And then the eyes are on a different layer that come over to these LED or RGB LEDs so that you can select the eyes to be a different color. And then you can also select for the colors to cycle. They come over to this panel, and then this panel is wired down to the motherboard. Now, if you remember the Skull Canyon, the Skull Canyon had uh, these three con or had two of these connectors. It had a, a dual USB 3.0 connector and a dual USB 2.0 that has some of the front panel signals as well as Keck. And then th the Hades Canyon has added a SATA power connector in here. And just so you can see that, I'll light this up. There is a, just a standard SATA power connector. All right. This metal plate not only holds the, the uh, illumination panel for the skull, but it also acts as a thermal plate for the two M.2 uh, SSDs. And so now let's take a look at the inside. All right, starting from the right, we have the two DDR4 uh, 2400 dim sockets. And this can support uh, 2400 or 2133 at a lower latency. The performance is about the same. And if you order 32 gig of RAM, you get a gaming uh, memory. Uh, so this is actually low latency gaming RAM DIMMs. And that comes standard with the 32 gig memory option. These are getting hard to come by now. There is the battery for preserving the clock uh, when the unit's powered off. Um, this is the primary M.2 connector, and this supports both PCI Express and SATA SSDs. This is a 2280 length. There is support for 2242, but the 2242s are such low performance, I would not ever recommend them. This is the secondary M.2, and it also supports PCI Express or SATA. This is the 8265 radio, so this is 802.11ac uh, plus BGN, and it's, it is commonly called gigabit wireless. It supports 867 uh, megabits per second of communication in a 2x2 two two array. You can see the, the uh, functional lid connectors are exposed here. These connectors, I'm not sure what they are. I might cover them in the future. Uh, you can actually see that there's two 
sockets here, these are actually the BIOS and the embedded controller uh, firmware. So this is a prototype where they could take those chips out, program them, put them in before they develop the code that let them do BIOS updates in place. You can see the uh, magnetics for the two RJ45s. Uh, here is the four microphone uh, plates uh, and the cable harness going back to this connector. So that is an inside look at the new Hades Canyon. There should be a link below to, that you can use to take you over to simplynuck.com's Hades Canyon webpage where you can find more information, some uh, technical uh, specs, product brief, and some other uh, photographic images. You can also place a pre-order there for either the 65 or 100 watt version. The 100 watt version is considered the VR ready. It has a uh, slightly faster processor and also more powerful GPU. There'll be some information coming out about the new uh, processor GPU uh, combination uh, from Intel and AMD uh, that you'll be able to find on the website. You can also pre-order and you can get 8, 16, or 32 gig of memory. If you get the 32 gig of memory, you will get the uh, low latency gaming DIMMs. You can also order either a 128 all the way up to a 2 terabyte SSD, either SATA or PCI Express for higher performance, mm -hmm. and up to two of those. And you can order it with Windows 10 Home or Pro or one of the variants of Linux pre-installed. And so it'll be ready to go. I would uh, suggest if you're interested in the Hades Canyon, please get a pre-order in. Uh, there's many times that Simply Not consumes almost all or all of the first shipments of new products through our pre-orders. And so there's good chance that nobody else will have the first shipment. Um, Intel does a first shipment. They wait about two weeks to see what the response from the customers are before they start shipping in volume. Thank you very much.